and welcome back to another episode of The Quarry. We're gonna hop right in with chapter three, I think. No, I don't want the... Fuck! <laughs> Did that just erase all my game? <laughs> no! Oh, thank God. <laughs> I just had a panic attack so big, realizing that I might have just overwrote my save game. Okay, delete that. Oh my god. Okay, no, correction, we're starting chapter two with Eva. I... oh my god. The panic I just had. Oh my god, I fucking... Ooh. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake <laughs> may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? <laughs> I love Emma. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. <sighs> okay, I'm almost there. One second. Nah, let Jacob have his moment. Let Jacob have his moment. Hi, <laughs> there we go. And Viola. Uh, your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. Did he fucking say Viola? Like it's voila. Hands. Voila. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 <laughs> beep, beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Being an embarrassing teenager? Oh. <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beard art, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Saying it's your beard art doesn't mean, make any difference if you, if she's already called you. really wipe this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Ah, a safe. Hmm. Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. <laughs> See, you just cut a hole in it, mm -hmm. you pour in your vodka, it's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well. I don't want to know what you're doing with the watermelon. Okay, I'm going to leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Uh, I'm sitting, okay. I just finished recording a couple episodes of Detroit Become Human and I'm sitting here pressing the right trigger as if it's gonna like show me all the different options around me. But these people are people, they're not androids. They're pressing R2 is not gonna do anything for me. Which is very unfortunate.
Harem Scarum. Harem Scarum? It's all coming together. What's coming together, exactly? Man, we really tried hard with that door, didn't we? Like this music, kind of tense. Who buys this crap? Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm good, guys. I'm good. I can breathe. This was not that scary. I feel like there was supposed to be, I feel like there should be like a Oh, what's it called in here? Uh, a tarot card? Oh, that was shiny. It got my attention. And there's nothing- there's nothing on it. Nice! Shortcut! Or what, though? Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, let's continue on. Anything interesting over here? <laughs> Hello, old friends. Oh, yeah. Nah, leave the props. Maybe I should give the guy a break. <sighs> Game's scaring me enough as is. We don't need to try to scare the characters in-game. Nothing in the fridge. Yeah, that means we're probably going to be drinking some warm beer. Gotta make sure we check every corner. Don't want to miss anything. At least don't want to miss anything on purpose. I can't promise I won't miss anything. Seriously, I kind of... I. Are we gonna open it? Ouch. Okay. Um. Well, I don't know what that really told us. This goes. Probably to more storage. Locked. <laughs> no, call Jacob. If we Jacob! kick the door, we're just gonna hurt ourselves. Come check this out. Oh, uh, <laughs> alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Nice. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother lord. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder he kept this place locked up. You think he'll be pissed when we made a stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now, let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Aye, aye. Some more melons. Why don't we take the snacks? They're just sitting here. 
Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. <laughs> what a nerd. What a little nerd. I'm done. Bags. Wall marks on them. Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a. We are collecting the evidence. Evidence of what? We don't yet know. Where do this? All right, well, let's move on. Oh. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. Ooh, I don't like that noise. Why are their door hinges squeaking? Is he holding the door for me? What a sweetheart. All right. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> Shotgun shells? What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Oh, well, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should- No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. I agree. Take the fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Uh, <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. Uh, what are butter pops? What are butter pops? <sighs> No. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my God. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. <laughs> right. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um... Like treasure or buds? <laughs> no, before that. A wheelbarrow? Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. I swear it's called a wheelbarrow. A wheelbarrow, as in B A R R O W. Which way? Y'all forgot your melons. Seriously, I swear it's wheelbarrow. All right. 
The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just make this quick. What sure, fucking nerds? A to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. What are you listening to now? Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um... Yeah, like, the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner fide. <laughs> Get it? Boner. <laughs> Boner. No, no I'm sorry, that was an old Barker Flyer joke. <laughs> so, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? Don't ask that question. You don't want to know the answer. Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. All right. What's this? It's just the uh, it's just a family photo. Oh, I'm doing good for the freak show stuff. Yeah, five out of nine. Back at history. Six of twelve for the camper for the camp history. Dang, I'm doing better on this than I thought I was. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Those are so quite obviously photoshopped. That's so funny. I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. It seriously looks like they just kind of photoshopped the heads onto those. Well, hello. What is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Suspicious? Yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably <laughs> for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Uh, okay, or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. All right, we're opening it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. All right, all right, I'll climb down. This isn't creepy at all. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, hey. <laughs> I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. <laughs> it is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Uh, path updated? Why was the path updated? What is happening here? Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to that. That is a terrible looking chair, Dylan. I didn't catch you taking this baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Layful. Ringy dingy ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? 
Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> That was a cute little flirt. And what does this say? Oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. I mean, obviously, we know why they didn't show up. They were in the prologue of this game. I keep pressing R the right trigger as if it's going to do anything. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. <laughs> uh... Let's be serious. It's a gun. Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? I know like that short story. Other people. I know that short story. Yeah. Read it in high yeah. school. What, I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if, okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah, not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. <sighs> Your call, man. Let me in. Let me in. Let me yeah, in. My guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? Yes. Let uh, me I'm in. Sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's you're not a little bit curious. I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but nothing but net. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Oh. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, secret room in his closet? Whoa, what the fuck? I agree, what He's the fuck? Monitors. This is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just, Trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. Interested? I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. 
Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's major league <laughs> weird. I don't disagree. It's, it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, it's, okay. it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Anything interesting on these? Why does he have a microphone attached to all of it? Oh my god, is he a secret YouTuber? Okay, these are boring. Man, I was kind of hoping something would jump out and scare us on it. Hey, there's a drawing of him. Um, anything else here? Postcards. Uh. For Max and Laura. Okay. We're leaving the secret room. That is so out of tune. The bedroom. I don't think there's anything of importance in here. Oh my god, I'm trying to leave. Walk out the door. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Uh, I want to actually read. Ibuprofen, paracetamol, the toothpaste has got a shark on it. I love it. Okay, whatever. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? So I can ask you on a date. Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date? Uh, mm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. Uh, hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Mm. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. Well, is there anything else interesting in here? So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones? Uh, yeah, probably. You want to check? <laughs> oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. You don't want to awkwardly flirt with him anymore, Ryan? Nice. Full up. That's 28%. That is not full up. 
Whatever, head to the party. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool, let's go. Thank you. It'd be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. They can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take the go. Mm-hmm. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? They're so sickeningly sweet. We're going Rocky Road. Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. They're like burning or whatever. Thank They're so that. awkward, it's cute. Uh... Not yet. <laughs> okay, um... I don't know, can I really do anything here? So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves are in pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. All right, which way are we going? Um... Maybe not go there. Falling rock seems very plausible. Walking through the rocky walls. I don't feel like I'm missing everything. Oh my god, wait, no. I, I, ah, I found the card. And I didn't miss a card. I thought I was missing one in the little section with uh, Emma and Jacob. Okay. Uh, the hanged man. To be the hanged man is surrender, and by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully, consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. That doesn't make sense. No, whatever. Anything else? So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like, the future. Yeah. Sometimes. All the time. So overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like, let it happen, you know? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. Uncertain. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so... convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. 
I mean, well, it's, it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. Way to shit on this man's beliefs, Abby. Can I hop down, please? Thank you. Know where we are? Yeah. Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just. They're so cute. My man, this is your shot. Take it. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course. I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. My man, sit closer to her. Make your move. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Oh! Look! Little baby boar. It's so tiny. <laughs> oh my god, he's so... So, uh, if the baby boar is around, the mama boar is probably around too. Hold on. Hold on. Say, hey, Babby. You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry causing serious consequences. Why is it circling my body? run and hide behind Abby. <laughs> you seriously just run and hide behind Abby. That was close. <laughs> thing almost just mowed me to death. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> and 
imagine the story. At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? Mm, I got a pretty good look. Ew! I think she was coming on to me. Aww. Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> Guess we should head back. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Here comes Dylan and hey, Ryan. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? <laughs> His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh... What's going on here? Everything ready? Uh, honest. I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> I told you never to say hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. <laughs> you both okay? Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Nobody got gored? We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. Though I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. Oh, do tell. <laughs> wow. oh. Oh. Special delivery. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh. Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. <sighs> okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. <laughs> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! <laughs> I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Darn. 
Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Oh, come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. I guess we're gonna have an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. Dudes will be dudes, and boys will be boys. Okay, so, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Opal? It was... it was okay. Hey! boy. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? And? Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> Please, just give me the gun. You guys are so rude to each other. I love it. Okay, you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. Yeah, why are we... Flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Yeah, why Why are we doing this with a... With a shotgun, of all things? Why did we think we could do this with a shotgun? I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. You said it, Brenda. Okay, you're good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Nice shot. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was shooting the watermelons. Lucky. Well, 
point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Huh. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Friendly. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter look next time? Hey, I didn't <laughs> want to say it, but you're both very mean. <laughs> Blam, we thought this was over. What the what? <laughs> I love her. Pop pop peanut butter butter pops. This streamer mug music is honestly kind of good. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? No, dare! All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I... Uh, I... Uh, interrupt. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, yeah. just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Oh, cute. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. I mean, we were flirting with Dylan earlier. Let's kiss Caitlin. Caitlin? Shall we? Let's go, Brenda. 
My Disney stars are kissing. Oh, uh, that wasn't exciting as I thought it was gonna be. We should have kissed Dylan. Caitlin didn't do anything. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Jacob. All right, Jacob. Let's see what you're made of. Oh, there, there, man. Come on. Okay. I dare you to take a flying leap over that fire pit. Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing. I don't care. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, no. Jacob. Wait. Don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto. You're gonna fuck yourself up. What? No, come on, man. I got this. Brian, come on. Fine, Vito. You know what? Fuck this game. All right. <clears throat> Someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Man, way to steal um, Jacob's thunder. There. He was down for that shit. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well then. Um. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good idea. idea. I choose Nick. M. Seriously. Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. That was a little fuck, Brenda. That was a little fuck. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was? It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? What the fuck is Parcheesi? You said it, Carl. So apparently that that music is copyrighted, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn that off real quick. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So then, what more has been found? The hanged man. To be the hanged man is to surrender, and by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. But these are just words. There's more to show you, if you'll let me. Hell yeah, let's go for it.
That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. All right, and that's chapter two completed. So we are going to head back to the main menu. And before I forget, we're gonna we're gonna turn the music back on. All right. Oh wait, no shit. All right. Well, I think all that went really great. A loss. Lots of interesting relationship drama going on. Uh, I kind of regret kissing Caitlyn, and I wish we had kissed Dylan instead. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye! Mm, <laughs>